Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a super 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 quick makeup look. So this one I use when I'm in a real hurry if we're going to work and I want to just cover up a few of my acne breakouts and look a little bit more fancy than what I am at the moment. Like I look really tired and drab and sick. Like I am. But on an everyday like routine a lot of us don't have a lot of time to put the full foundation mascara blush highlight bronzer everything you know that the works we don't have a lot of time during our busy lives to do that so i just thought i'd do a video for you guys kind of summing up the essential products that i would use in a routine that would just look like i said make it look a little bit done up a little bit more a little bit more fresh and awake and you can just head out the door in two minutes or less depending how much of a hurry you're in. I would say maximum this would take is two minutes. For me it takes like 30 seconds to a minute because I do just like whack it all on. If you do want to take a little bit more time it takes two minutes. So it is a really 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 quick routine and very simple as well so if you guys are a beginner this will be perfect for you. So without further ado let's just get straight and so let's try Lee. <laughs> uh, the croakiness is so real today. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing I do is I'll prime slash like moisturize my skin. So basically I do my classic cleansing routine, which I'll leave linked up above if you guys actually do want to check it out. But lately I've been using the Goody Co. Dream Serum as my primer slash like face moisturizer. So I'm going to just place one drop of this over my skin. Literally a little bit of this goes such a long way and it just feels so nice on the skin and it gives a bit of a glow as well because it is kind of like a face oil kind of serum and I am an oily skin girl so this to me would have been like what like a face oil like as a moisturizer but it does it helps keep my oils at bay and like I said it just gives such a nice healthy glow healthy youthful feel to the skin Okay, so next thing I use is concealer. Yeah, I go straight in with a bit of concealer. I don't bother with foundation for like an everyday wear. My skin doesn't like wearing foundation all day anyway. I tend to start to break out if I wear it too often. But a little bit of concealer just here and there on the spots that I need it does wonders for my skin, especially with like the intense like little breakouts and acne spots that I have going on on my skin at the moment. So I'm just going to take my usual Instant Age Rewind concealer from Maybelline. You guys can use whatever concealer that makes you happy. I just love this. It's a nice full coverage concealer. Covers everything that I want and doesn't look too cakey. So I have a fair few breakouts going on at the moment just because I have definitely been abusing my body lately just eating a lot of unhealthy foods and then that tends to make my skin break out a lot more I don't go and cover up every single breakout like all over my skin I just cover up the probably the really intense ones and I do have a few on my neck that's when I know it's starting to go too far is when I start to break out down my neck then I'll just like ho like haul it all back in again and start eating properly <laughs> which I have been doing and it's been helping a lot I've been getting any new ones these are all just kind of old scarring sometimes I'll conceal my nose but because I do put a bit of like bronzer on it I don't really bother and with my line of work I'm wearing sunglasses a lot so if I put too much product like on my nose it starts to kind of wear off then I'm going to grab a tapered kabuki brush from Sigma and just blend the edges, just feather out the edges of that concealer, keeping the coverage still over the top of the blemish, breakout, scar, whatever it is I'm covering up. And I just feather it out around my nose to cover up just a little bit of that redness on my cheeks. And that is it for the concealer. You can apply some around your eyes. I actually prefer not to place concealer around my eyes. I don't actually tend to get too too badly discolored under eye area. Like it doesn't get too purple or anything. If you guys do get quite heavy under eye bags and you can put concealer there. For me I'm quite lucky I don't get too much but if I am feeling like I am looking a little bit tired on one of those days like I am wearing a bit of makeup then I will apply just a smidgen of concealer just in this area here. 
but I won't apply it all over the lid, all around the eye. It'll just be a tiny amount just to cover up a little bit of that discoloration and open up the eyes. Because if I am wearing concealer for a long period of time, I tend to crease and I'm worrying about having to like pat it out, make sure it's not creasing throughout the, throughout the day. And I just don't want to be wor worrying about that if I'm at work or if I'm just ducking out to the shops. I don't need to look super done up, you know. So before we go in with powder, I'm going to bronze my skin. And a lot of the products basically we're using today, the two main products are like creams just because I feel like it really just does something to the skin it really just makes it look healthy glowy dewy give it a color to it but it just doesn't look fake I feel like powder just is a bit too intense so it can look a little bit fake sometimes that's just my personal opinion so I'm going to take my Hula Quickie contour stick from Benefit so I'm just going to kind of grab whatever the product is left from the top and I'm just going to place it along the areas that we naturally hit the sun. So around the cheeks, definitely around the temples, forehead, hence why I don't put a lot of product on my forehead just because I know I'm going in with bronzer afterwards which will give a bit of colour and kind of cover up a little bit of those breakouts. And exactly like I said before, I'm putting some on my nose, just where like you get that natural kind of sun kiss look, and on the cheek area here, which is also why I don't put a lot of concealer or a lot of um, yeah concealer around this area, or if any, you know, I just cover up a little bit of that redness, but a lot of it gets covered up with the bronzer. Now you can go in with a beauty sponge if you would like or a foundation brush. I change it up. Sometimes I'll use a foundation brush. Sometimes I'll use a beauty sponge. Today I'm just going to use my finger because we're going to mimic the days that I actually am in a huge rush. Like sometimes even with my concealer, I will actually just blend it out with my finger. I won't use a brush if I'm not bothered to try and find one. Alright, next is powder. I'm going to take the raw pressed powder. And I'm grabbing a dry beauty sponge, this one's from Chi Chi. And I'm literally just going to start pressing over the concealer areas with that powder. Maybe even draw a slight little contour with that powder if I'm feeling extra. Like these are all tips. Like the bare minimum is just placing it on the concealer, calling it a day, walking out the door. But sometimes I'll go a bit extra. You can always add steps to this routine takeaway steps even well it is up to you what you do this just covers up the breakout a little bit more and also it will lock it like the um, concealer in place so that you won't find it completely like faded or moved throughout the day and that breakout's peeking through the powder will just lock it in for you so the last step for me is a brow gel I just find, as you can see, I've got a bit of powder through my brows a little bit just because I had a breakout quite close. So I did put a bit of powder, that, powder there and I got a little bit of it in my brows. So this step is like optional. I'll do this if I find like my hairs are a bit crazy during, like one day and I think I just need to comb them down in place. Or if I've got a bit of powder in them, I just want to kind of like give them a bit of colour back, you know, get rid of that powdery look. This is a tinted brow gel. It's the Brow This Way Brow Sculpting Gel from Rimmel. And I'll literally just whiz this through. Takes like two seconds. Put some in, brush my hairs upwards so they look like they look like they're sitting a bit better on the face. And as you can see it just look it makes the brow a little bit bolder. Finally I'll go in with a smidge amount of a setting spray. This one is the Kat Von D Locket 24 hour setting spray. And I do about three spritzes of that just to lock the powder in place and help my makeup last a little bit longer during the day. So this here is the finished makeup tutorial guys. Like I said, it's just the kind of makeup look you can do if you're in a rush through the day. If you want to just go to the shops, you want to look a little bit done up but like not like you've tried too hard. You can even use this as date makeup if you yourself are not confident in wearing a lot of makeup and you just want to wear something that will enhance your features but not look like you've worn, like you've put too much makeup on or you just feel like, you know, you want to look more like your enhanced natural features like you just bring a little bit of life back to yourself. This routine I just find is good for that and also for work, like I'm a lifeguard so I don't want to look like I've put too much effort into 
my face. I just want to look a little bit more done up, cover up the breakouts that I need to, maybe have a bit of colour back to my skin and we'll call it a day. So I hope you found this helpful, got a few tips and tricks from it. Leave a comment down below of what you would like to see next in a tutorial. If you have a look in mind or any products you want me to test out, please let me know. Otherwise, have an amazing day, guys. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I'd love to see you guys join my YouTube family and I'll see you in my next video. Have an amazing day. Bye.